Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. In this video, we will be analyzing the performance of the newest Mac Mini with Apple's latest M1 chip. I will also be comparing the performance of the Mac Mini M1 chip against the iPad Pro 2020 variant A12Z Bionic chip. These devices both house ARM processors and not x86 like Intel and AMD. The M1 chip is huge for Apple due to the fact that not only is it faster than the majority of the Intel processors in the older Mac models, but this chip natively runs mobile apps, which Intel and AMD SOCs can't do. I'll definitely be showing graphs and performance later in this video. Overall, the M1 chip uses Rosetta 2 to run applications designed for x86 chips. Generally speaking, the M1 chip is bringing forth a new experience as you can run both ARM and x86 applications. On another note, another reason for this video is for those content creators such as myself debating on whether the iPad Pro 2020 variant is sufficient enough in performance. I'll be testing and comparing the CPU, GPU, and also compressing edited 4K video to give a more realistic look at how each device performs. These tests should also give a realistic outlook on the performance of the upcoming iPad Pros that is rumored to be announced next week, Tuesday, March 23rd. These new iPad Pros are also speculated to house Apple's new M1 chips. Nevertheless, if anything, Definitely check out the end of this video as the results of the 4K video compression test is quite alarming. But before we look at these results, let's first look at the CPU, which is responsible for running all the logic and operations required by the operating system and apps. Based on results, we can see that in single core performance, the M1 chip is roughly 55% faster than the A12Z Bionic chip that is housed in the iPad Pro. As for multi-core performance, it seems the M1 chip is roughly 62% faster than the A12Z Bionic chip. Hence, with the M1 chip on paper in regards to CPU, this is a huge gap in performance. Furthermore, the M1 chip crushes all i7 and some i9 Intel processors housed in older Mac products. Nevertheless, as for the GPU, which is designed to handle any graphics operations in your device, we can see that the M1 chip is roughly 88% more powerful than the A12Z Bionic chip on paper, which again is a huge gap in performance. However, here is where things get very interesting. Due to the M1 chip sharing the same ARM architecture as the A12Z Bionic chip, I was able to test both devices in compressing edited 4K video to 1080p using the same editing application. As you can see, both devices have the same 4K video and color effect applied to make sure this test is as objective as possible. Based on the results, the Mac Mini finished in roughly 1 minute and 3 seconds, while the iPad Pro finished in roughly 1 minute and 5 seconds. These results were very unexpected due to how much the M1 chip crushes the A12Z Bionic chip and benchmarks. This is another classic example of how benchmarks don't always tell the full story. However, on the flip side, 4K video compression test is just one standardized way to test these powerful processors. Demanding CPU and GPU games could potentially merit different results. All in all, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe and notification button to stay tuned for more informational videos like this.
I'll be doing more gaming performance tests on this channel, and I'll also be buying and reviewing the new upcoming iPad Pro 2021 variant and the ASUS ROG 5 phone. Please stay safe and see you next time.